Hi there, my name is Monica Humpel. I'm a Master Certified Coach, and uh, I'm gonna do a little different with this video and with some other videos I'll be posting very soon. I'll create a playlist out of this once they're all published so that you can just go back and see them, but these videos are for the wayward spouse. And by wayward spouse, what I mean by that is the person who actually had an affair. Um, I have had clients tell me over and over that they've had their spouse watch my other videos, and I thought, well, okay, if um, if this could be helpful into helping you, the person who had an affair, better understand what betrayed spouses are going through. I'm a betrayed spouse. I can speak from personal experience, um, but just in a way that's more knowledge-based. Um, this is not meant to shame or degrade or fuss at anybody for their actions. This is more about information. I'm a person that believes the more you know, the better able you are to step into any relational situation and do the absolute best you can. And my hope is that this information will help you come alongside your betrayed spouse in a way that is um, understanding and compassionate because this is not an easy road. I know it's not an easy road for you either, quite frankly. Um, so this first video is gonna be the basic. What has happened to your spouse when they found out about the affair? Like what is going on inside of them? Um, this is the foundation that I think can maybe help explain some of the other things that may be going on. Um, maybe some of their behaviors and some of their tendencies that might be driving you crazy, to be honest, um, stem from this moment. Um, I had never had trauma prior to finding out about the affair. And I genuinely did, I was concerned. Something was genuinely wrong with me. So it wasn't until a therapist looked at me and said, you know, Monica, you've been traumatized. You know that, right? I did not know that. And once I got help to understand what was happening inside of me, oh, it was so much easier for me to manage things. So your spouse has been traumatized by your actions. Um, finding out that the safe place you thought you lived, finding out that the person that you chose to spend the rest of your life with, the person you have given um, complete trust and faith in, that person has taken your safety away. You, you now live in a world that is no longer safe. This is the trauma. Um, trauma lives in the amygdala, which is the fear center of your brain. And when we are traumatized, that means that we have experienced something so incredibly scary. Our body did not know how to process it in that moment. That's what becomes PTSD. <laughs> That's what becomes a disorder. It's when you've been hit with something so horrible and scary that you it's imprinted in that fear center of your brain. We'll talk in another video about triggers, but this is why we're triggered. It's because we're reminded of that fear and that fear takes over and warns us that we are now in danger again. So we'll talk about that in another video, but understand that in the moment you find out that your spouse has betrayed you, you don't feel safe any longer. You don't feel safe in the marriage with them. You don't feel safe as a person. You begin to question your judgment. I mean, how did I not know? <laughs> did I miss red flags? What's wrong with me? Why would he choose someone else over me? Um, something must be wrong here. Gosh, what if I'm never enough for them? What if, what if they do this again? How am I supposed to um, move forward with this? Who do I tell? I mean, oh my goodness, you, you have no idea the fears that bubble up. What about our kids? I mean, fear is powerful. It is one of the most powerful emotions. Now, fear's not, feels, fear's got a purpose. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Fear is to protect you from harm. And in that moment, you are feeling such incredible danger and harm that fear takes over. So when your spouse has learned about the affair and suddenly almost seems to become a different person. They are, um, they're not sleeping, they're not eating, their emotions are all over the place. They ask a gazillion questions, <laughs> like, 
a million. They might ask the same thing eight times. Um, they are parent. They seem very paranoid. Just understand a lot of this comes out of fear, and it's a genuine fear. So you know, I I hope that this makes a little bit of sense. And just to help you, if you're a visual person, and a lot of people are, I'm just going to put this graphic on the screen. So I'm going to talk over this graphic. On one side of this graphic is a normal brain, a normal brain being stimulated by normal things. On the other side of this graphic is a brain that's experiencing a PTSD trigger. For the person on the other side, the normal brain, that thing that's happening outside of them doesn't affect them at all. But the person who has the trigger, the person who is experiencing PTSD, their brain is lit up like a Christmas tree. So imagine your sense of fear being heightened to that level by something as benign as a song on the radio or a commercial on TV or a specific shirt you wear or every time you take your phone into the bathroom. This is what we're experiencing. Those of us who've been betrayed, this is our life. And here's what I want you to understand. We don't get over this. This is now a permanent part of how our brain works. <laughs> okay. Now, this is not something we get over, but it is something that we get through. We learn great skills to learn how to manage these triggers. We get to a place where we don't have to tell you about them all the time, but you need to understand what trauma physiologically looks and feels like for your spouse right now. It's intense. It's really, really intense. Okay. So please, lean into that with compassion. Consider how you can be more understanding and patient with your spouse as they're trying to unpack all of this and figure out how to manage all of these things going on inside of them. I hope that this was informative and helpful for you. So stay tuned. I'm going to have other videos um, that can address some other specific things that might be I'm very curious to you as you watch your spouse go through their recovery process. So stay tuned for other videos and I hope this has been helpful.